Have you ever pondered on the fundamental constituents of the food you consume daily? Well, the answer lies in a scientific process called proximate analysis. A window into the world of our meals, this system was first introduced to science in the mid-19th century. The term proximate analysis has historical roots, deriving its name from the Latin word proximus, which means next or nearest. It symbolizes the process's ability to identify the nearest or most essential components of any food substance. The brilliance of this analysis is its efficiency in dissecting the key components of food, breaking it down into six primary substances, water, proteins, fats, carbohydrates, minerals, and vitamins. Each of these substances plays a crucial role in our overall health and well-being. Furthermore, the significance of proximate analysis lies in its wide application. It's extensively utilized in nutrition science, food manufacture, feed formulation, and quality control, thereby influencing our health, the food industry, and the economy at large. Thus, proximate analysis reveals not just the secrets of what we eat, but it also guides sustainable practices in food production and consumption. Now, how does one perform a proximate analysis? The answer isn't as complex as it sounds. The process begins with the separation of water from the food sample. This is done through a process known as drying. The sample is subjected to a certain temperature for a specific period, causing the water to evaporate. The difference in the weight of the sample before and after drying gives us the moisture content. Following this, the protein content is determined. This is done using a method called the Keldal method. The food sample is digested with sulfuric acid, converting all the nitrogen in the sample to ammonium sulfate. The nitrogen is then converted to ammonia and distilled off. The amount of nitrogen is then determined, which gives us the protein content. Next in line are fats. To extract fats, the dried sample is subjected to a solvent extraction process. The solvent dissolves the fats, separating them from the rest of the sample. The mineral content, also known as ash, is determined by incinerating the sample in a furnace at high temperatures. What remains after incineration is the ash content, which is indicative of the mineral content. Last but not least, the carbohydrate content is determined by difference. This means that once you've calculated the percentages of water, protein, fat and ash, you subtract these from 100. The result gives you the carbohydrate content. Vitamins, the sixth component, are usually not considered in a traditional proximate analysis due to the complex methods required for their analysis. However, they play a significant role in nutrition and are usually considered in a more comprehensive food analysis. So, to summarize, proximate analysis is a scientific process that allows us to understand the composition of our food. It involves the determination of water, protein, fat, ash, and carbohydrate content. Each of these components plays a vital role in our nutrition and overall health. Remember, the next time you enjoy your meal, there's a lot more going on than meets the eye. Proximate analysis is the silent scientific process that helps us understand what we eat, ensuring we achieve a balanced diet for a healthy lifestyle. It is indeed a window into the world of food, revealing the secrets of what we consume every day.